from in front of a couple of kittens, it's the 4 o'clock news. Welcome to the news, if this doesn't get us record ratings then nothing will. Here's what we have for you today. Does this statue look like something else to you? If it does, I've got bad news for you. Will there be any actual news ever in this section? Stay tuned to find out. And nope, still no news in this section. But first, gaming and technology news. A new craze has hit the internet this week, with some people calling it this year's version of the famous race, while others have called it a sign that there are people dying of starvation and treatable diseases right in your neighborhood, and you're trying to find new ways in which to ignore them. An audio recording has been posted on social media that seems to be saying one word, but other people seem to be hearing a totally different word. Luckily, we have a team of very skilled and highly paid audio engineers that have figured out the secret. As it turns out, only young people seem to be able to hear the high-pitched sound that produces the second word. So, with a little tweaking, we are now able to hear both of them. So, here's the first one. Laurel. And here's the second one. Get a job. Wait, wait. That didn't sound right. Let's try this again. Here's the first one, Laurel. And here's the second one. Your life has no meaning. Third time's the charm, Laurel. You are a waste of flesh. Much better! This week has marked an unexpected shift in the video games industry, with every major video game company announcing that all the games they are going to release this year will be delayed until 2019. This unexplainable phenomenon has puzzled scientists all over the world so far, so we must ask, could this be a conspiracy? I said, could this be a conspiracy? Conspiracy. Really? Three years later and that's all you've got. Okay, fine, so it's not a conspiracy. Then, the only logical explanation would be that everybody's running scared shitless because of Red Dead Redemption 2. Apart from Ubisoft. They delayed Skull and Bones after realizing that somehow they managed to make a game with less content than CFTs. I'm not saying they delayed it to add more content, but by then people will forget about it. Google has revealed a few precious new details about its upcoming version of Android dubbed Android P. If you laughed at the name then you are very immature and I am deeply disappointed by your actions. This new version of the popular atrocity, I mean operating system, has the capability to calculate the distance between the phone and the Wi-Fi router in any public space, allowing it to always know the exact location of the phone inside the building, as well as that of its owner. Your location will be constantly read by the phone so that when the agents come for you, there will be no place you can hide, Mr. Anderson. Alongside this marvelous addition, Google has also revealed what it plans to do with the future versions of this operating system. So we can now tell you in absolute exclusivity what you should expect in the coming years. Android R gives you helpful corrections whenever you mispronounce a word during a call or when you're chatting to somebody face to face. Android S constantly monitors your daily actions to make sure that you aren't accidentally doing something illegal. No crimes will be committed because of this operating system. Android T automatically removes any text it finds that does not conform to the party guidelines for written communications. And lastly, Android U will be installed directly onto the expansion board fitted into the brain of every citizen slave of the New World Order. The motto is that Android U will be you. Still a better idea than that notch. Commercial break. 
Hey you! Yes you! Did you just try to update Windows 10? And you got a blue screen and now your PC won't boot? And you kinda wish you had the ability to refuse the update because it keeps reinstalling itself, constantly making your PC totally unusable? Well I guess it's time for a change. It's time to take a stand. It's time to get a new Windows 10 computer. Your current computer is obviously broken and it was all your fault. You must have pressed the restart button wrong or looked at it too hard. So go out and buy a new PC or a shiny, ecological and easy to recycle Surface laptop right now and everything everybody else says about it not being recyclable is communist propaganda. Fine, you anti-capitalist communist, be that way. Windows 10. Because fuck you. Rage 2 has been announced as a surprise collaboration between its software and a studio that actually knows how to make an open world post-apocalyptic video game, Avalanche, creators of the popular flying cow simulator Just Cause 3. Tim Willits, creative director at his software, has declared that Rage 2 will be delivered in the form of a game as a service, but unlike other games as service titles, it will not feature loot boxes whatsoever. Willits has stated that the game will feature a method of monetization that has so far been unproven and untested. In his own words, you buy the game and then you play it. It's too early to tell if this novel approach of monetizing a video game will take off. It just seems a bit too crazy to actually work and according to our marketing advisor, who is still recovering in the hospital after a um, meeting with a giant spoon, it is, in his words, the worst idea he has ever heard since shareware, demo discs and sweatshops that won't employ children. Well, that's all we have for you right now, but stay tuned because after the break there will be more news. But before that, a moment of silence for Boss Key Studio, creators of Lawbreakers and creatively bankrupt the video game. Man, those sure are cute kittens. After the break. Call of Duty Black Ops 1111 is receiving a Battle Royale mode that has a totally unique twist that has never been seen before in a video game. It has giant maps to let you pilot land, air and sea vehicles. Sort of like every Battlefield or Arma game that has been made in the past century. 